All right, hi, welcome back. This is Colleen and I'm Fate of Love Vintage. Today I am in Fulton. I am finally made it to Brown Bag Boutique. Um, I've been trying to make it to this antique shop in like, for like ever. <laughs> but let's go inside and see what we can find. purchase a me little Fenton toothpick holder because you guys know I can't I can't leave someplace without one piece of Fenton <laughs> oh, let's see mm -hmm. so lots of fun and I know a few of the vendors here, some people that I know of. 45, that's pretty. Ooh, hello. $10. As long as there's no chips or cracks. What is that? Oh, there's a crack. Oh, darn. That would have been really cool find. Got my toothpick holder. Ooh, let's, look, let's peek inside. How much is that? 22. You know what I'm looking at. Ooh. Shh, stay. All right, it's signed. What do they say? Murano glass perfume bottle. I don't know if I necessarily agree Murano. It is signed. And for 22, I might be overpaying here, but I think I'm going to give that a shot. There's some Ansley. England. You guys know I'm looking for Irish stuff. Only a couple more days. And then that's going to be... <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to hold off on this perfume. I like instantly changed my mind. It's really pretty. But I think if it was just... If it, they had a little bit more going for it. But I am going to think about you. <laughs> That signature is interesting. But I think it's um it's right on the tip of my tongue. I just can't. That's pretty. Nimat turkey. I love the fish. But yeah, that signature is right on the tip of my tongue. And I just can't think of it. Oh look at the strawberry. How much do they want on that? Four dollars. I love it. Yes, I will take the strawberry roll for four dollars. Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> Quilts. Sorry if I'm making you guys a little dizzy. I am on a slight time crunch. Hi. I have a hair appointment. I'm really excited. I haven't gotten my hair done in a long time. And I need it. My hair is way too long. I'm over it. <laughs> so over it. Hmm. Let's see. What can we find? I see some Fenton over there. I'm going to contain myself and not just instantly go and gravitate towards the Fenton. <laughs> Some chickens. Oh. Ooh, look at this butter dish. This is the pattern that I have. This is Syracuse Montego, the Carefree Calypso. 
is the Montego color. Or not Montego. Um, it's not, not Montego, not Aruba. It's the other one. Oh my god, I can't believe I, my brain. My brain. How much do I want for the chicken? It's 13. So cute. Hmm. I know a lot of these vendors have booths other places. So I'm like recognizing like handwriting <laughs> from Pandora's barn. I think this is the Sassy Sisters. This is definitely their handwriting. <laughs> and I'm recognizing some pieces. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to wander around some more. If I find anything, I will let you guys know. I have a feeling it's not going to be very long. Oh, look at all these. Okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay. So this is the other shop area where they said they expanded into. This is pretty. A chance. Czechoslovakia Ardmore. That's really pretty. The graduated pictures. Oh, that's so pretty. 18, 10, and 6. That's a decent price, too. What else is in here? Anything else I can't live without? What about in the big china cabinet? <laughs> hmm, I see some weeping gold in there, but that's okay. I'm focused. <laughs> we are going to look at all the things. Look at that pineapple. Indiana glass. Ooh, betcha this glows. 15. It's, I think, Kanawa. Ooh, this is pretty old. Mice and you have 18 on that. Mycin is a good name to know. Look at the owls. Oh, you're pretty. Hello, little. 1050. That's really pretty. I think I'll do that as well. Ooh, look at those are pretty too. Like a little teapot, short and stout. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else we got in these fun little... Ooh, hello. You look old. Oh, Hong Kong. And a cup. Same pattern. Oh, they were, I'm switching them. There we go. That's the way they were. <laughs> I'm finding myself avoiding pineapple stuff now. Because the internet sucks. <laughs> and if you don't understand that reference, don't look it up. Do yourself a favor. Don't look it up. You don't want to know. It's not worth it. Ooh, that's pretty. Studio Nova, huh? I was not expecting Studio Nova. We got some McCoy. Ooh, we got some Majolica here. 15. That is a really pretty pattern. Oh, it's a really cute set. Let's see here. Oh, those are pretty linens. Some uranium glass over there. <clears throat> Any 
anything interesting over here? No, well, just a lot of records. I do want to see... I kind of want to see how much he has on that. Just because I just bought one. <laughs> at, a, at a barn sale. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm way too short to grab that. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. Oh, look at those lamps. Oh, those are nice. 60 set of two. That is cheap. Oh, we got more little rooms back here. What kind of cute things are in here? Cute, cute. I'm finding I, I don't mind the like neutral stuff. Everything has its place. Even decoupage things. It's pretty. Is that decoupaged? I think so. I really like that pattern, but I'm pretty sure it was glued on. So decorative only. Ooh, I like this shelf. That's pretty for 18. But you see, my problem is, is that if I bought these shelves, I would sell them in my booth. Oh, 50 bucks for that table. That's East Lake. That's East Lake too, 50 bucks. <sighs> I, I, I feel like I'm a little too close. This is too close. I can't buy things here to sell in my booth in the next city down. <laughs> if we're too close. I would feel weird about it. I'm only here to buy things for the internet. Ooh, look at that. But if you are local and watching this and really like the things, those are very good prices. Go look at it. I'm setting that down so I can look at this. Okay. Taste Setter by Sonoma. Or Trend Setter, not Taste Setter. Maybe it's Taste Setter. I can't remember. But I couldn't quite read it and I'm pretty sure it's a Taste Setter. <laughs> Purple crackle, four dollars. Okay. How much are you? Fifteen. I'm okay leaving you behind. But I'll grab the little creamer. As long as there's no chips or cracks. I think we're good. I think it's just only the ones that are meant to be there. No accidental ones. this section again. Oh, chicken. Little hen on nest. Hello. Oh, hi. Sorry. We're good. Just dinging. Dinging on things. Five bucks. Oh, it's a little divided dish. That's interesting. Man, that is sharp. Hmm. Never seen one that's divided. And honestly, for a clear glass, I think five bucks is probably about right. That's what I would put in my booth. So we'll let somebody else find it. I love that tray. <laughs> that flower frog piece is interesting. But it's brown. <laughs> I don't know how excited I am. Brown drip. Incense burner for 15. Hmm. So 
we'll leave that there. That makes sense. They have a lot of their, like, incense burning things in this booth. Alright. Let's see what's in this one. <laughs> Is that Beaumont Brothers pottery? I think it might be. Here, I'm going to, I have things tucked in all the arms. I'm going to go set this up. Okay, so I just realized what time it was, and I need to hurry my little butt up. Salt glaze rooster. As long as you are in good shape with BBP, I will get you for $7. 100%. Anything else I can't live without in here? Because you guys know I have a problem with Beaumont Brothers. I just can't seem to leave it behind. Like Fenton. Cute birds, puppy. Okay, I think there's one more booth up front I haven't been in. Oh, and of course, this is the last booth. And they've got all sorts of fun stuff. That's pretty. Yoga cat. <laughs> That's fun. are pretty. I've never seen those. <laughs> okay. I'm just realizing I only have like five minutes left in this store before I have to go to my hair appointment. <laughs> so this is going to be quick in this booth, unfortunately. Oh, pretty. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Uranium. Ooh, is that bleak? I don't know. It's unmarked. Nope. Syracuse China. That's the old one, too. The one's marked OP China. Or OP Syracuse. Those are old. Hello, Owl. Oh, you look like glass. $30, Moser. That's cool. A little Fenton cat shoe for six. An amber glass. I'm trying to look fast. Looking quickly. Make sure I don't miss anything over here. Looking quickly. Are you Lennox? You're probably Lennox. No, you're look-alike. Oh, that's pretty. Atomizer. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, the only reason I'm leaving it behind is because I just bought an item my atomizer at that barn sale I was telling you about. So I have to do a I'll have to do a, um, words, a uh, haul video with that barn sale. Because that was a lot of fun. It's an owl. You're interesting. Very steampunk. Okay. I think that's it. I'll check in with you guys outside with a total. Just noticing these. Vintage class cat, $8. See, this is my problem. I always come across the Lennox, the clear glass stuff. And, but I mean, clear glass is having a moment right now. Not gonna lie. Okay, okay, I'm done. <laughs> to go okay so that very quick run <laughs> I spent like 28 bucks it was less than 28 dollars so now I have to drive quickly <laughs> but not speeding to my hair appointment so this will look very different when I finally do that um haul video of the stuff I got Ooh, that truck was very close when I do a whole video for the stuff that I got at that barn sale that I keep that I kept mentioning so 
I will see you later. <laughs> okay, so that barn sale that I went to, I have all the stuff sitting right here in front of me. So let's go through it. I have my husband here hanging out. So if you hear any comments from the peanut gallery, that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be under the bus already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is what I was telling you about. The little, it's almost like a doll quilt. It's little. And there's no backing to it. And it almost looks like what they made it out of was just a whole, like, bunch of different, like, scraps or maybe like from a garment. Um, in the front, it's all a bunch of different, like there's some terry cloth, there's, so I'm wondering like if it's a doll blanket that was made out of baby, little patches of baby clothes. I don't know, it's really cute though. But, well, you know what? I wonder if those are patches, the ones that are terry cloth, because they have more hand stitching on them than the rest of it does, but it's just a little piece. That's like the whole thing. Mm. Thought it was cute. So I nabbed it. And I am talking to you as well as okay. them. <laughs> and then here's one tablecloth. I won't like do the whole thing, but it's poinsettias and candles. And there is a little bit of staining on it, so I'm going to try and see if I can get that out. But I'll have to be careful with the red, because I don't want that to, the entire thing to just turn pink. <laughs> but um, then I got this tablecloth with the trees around the outside. That was really cute. And then one last tablecloth is this one with little Yule logs. I like that one. That was really cute. I really liked the pattern to it. And it's got a little patch of holly right in the middle of the table. They're, they're not very big, but they're, they're heavy. Like, yeah, they're a pretty thick cloth. And I haven't seen a tag on any of them. So I can't even tell you like how old they are or where they were made or who they were made by or anything like that. But then I got some doilies. Oh, this one, <laughs> I didn't even notice. This one has, um, has initials on it. KS. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe Kansas, but I thought the, the blue was pretty and <laughs> I pretty much got all the, the colorful stuff that he had there. This one, I think it, would this be considered more of like a trivet or like, um, like a scrubby? I feel like if you set it down, like you could put pot grabber. maybe a pot grabber. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll ask your mom, see if she's seen any. Yeah. Um, his, his mom is quite the crocheter. And yeah. she's been knitting and, well, knitting and crocheting and um, doing quilts and all sorts of things for a long time. <laughs> so she's seen a lot more than me. Then these last two, I grabbed a couple of blankets. And there was just, uh, the guy was selling them so cheap that I figured I'd grab them and then research later. So I don't have much to say about these, but just that they felt old and well used. They should be covering a green couch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and th this kind of reminded me of that jacquard, but I know I, I don't think it is, but I'm not sure. I just I don't know, the color just and the fabric just kind of, like I said, I figured I'd nab them and then research later. And that's pretty big. It's not, it's like a, it's like almost like a lightweight quilt, like thinner blanket, like a summer blanket kind of material. And this one's thicker. 
This one's pilled up a little bit, but I really liked the trim on it. And none of them smelled terrible. So <laughs> just a little bit like old fabric that's been in storage. The rounded corners almost looks like it'd be a table cover. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, like, yeah, that's right. It's like rounded. I don't even know if they can see that. That's am completely in the way of my brain, of my head. <laughs> so, and then here's the box of the goodies. All right, so I got boxes in boxes. I got three of the Butterfly Gold Pyrex mugs, and I got three of these. They're matching, I believe they're Victorian enameled uh, drinking glasses, little tumblers. And they have remnants of gold on them and they have these really pretty flowers. And there's three of those. And then I got <laughs> this really cute squirrel planter. It's adorable. It's got pears and squirrel. And it just says Japan on the bottom. Well, it's just like when we have a camp. Oh, really? <laughs> I just, I thought the squirrel was adorable. He's just sitting there eating a, a something, like a peanut or something. I thought he was cute. Put you in the basket. And then, the name of this just flew out of my head. But I have one of these already in my personal collection. He comes out just for Christmas. See if that caught it. <laughs> this is a whispering terrible jokes over here. Um, uh, it starts with a B, I think. But either way, it's a old um, candy container. And then <coughs> they were kept afterwards for just little decorations. Uh, this guy, he's missing his little corn cob pipe and his hat has been re-glued. Um, and I believe he had a broom at one point, but that now it's just a hole. Uh, that's okay. They're still cool. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I can edit everything out. <laughs> I got this guy really pretty. I love the textured nice. ceramics. This guy, it, it's funny, like some things he had priced up pretty high. Um, like he was selling some like old bottles and things for like a hundred bucks, 50 bucks. And then this, he had a dollar on. <laughs> like, okay, I, I, I can see where his tastes lie. <laughs> but. I wrapped some of this up probably a little better than it should have, but I had all the bubble wrap in the back of the truck. So I was just like, just wrap it all up, make it, make it safe. I got a little amber. Uh, this is a made in Belgium um, bubble lid jar. Those, a lot of people really like those. Um, I love finding the big ones, but the small ones are really cute too. <laughs> and then I found this, which says made in Taiwan and it's a little like plant water like atomizer <coughs> and the pattern made me think of um oh it just flew out of my head I can't stare at you to try and think of it because you don't know what I'm talking about either a uh, tiara glass it made me think of that I don't think it is that's what it is but that's what it made me think it was tiara glass not tiara tiara like the crown <laughs> huh? Caramel. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then in here, we've got in here, we've got a little cutie ceramic personal ashtray. And it actually has the original sticker on it. Somebody paid $3.69 for this originally. Baby Moby Dick. He's just a little guy. <laughs> it was a minnow. <laughs> Tuck 
that in there. Unwrap everything. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is very dirty, but it is a George Briard little bonbon dish with attached tongs. So you can see the signature right there. I love the bird pattern. It's unmarked on the back, so I don't know where exactly the glass came from, but it's a milk glass. And I've never seen them with the tongs attached. I've always seen them like, like either missing the tongs or I'll find the tongs. And, but it's just really pretty. I like this piece a lot. And it's George Briard. What's not to like about George Briard? He's, and if you don't know, he's a very well-known mid-century um, designer. And he was very popular for many years. <laughs> um, I want to say like from the late 40s or 50s up into like the 70s or 80s, something like that. And then I also picked up this little piece of Victorian glass. It's unmarked and I've never seen one this shape. And it's got um, two like kids, like a little, like a girl and a boy. Maybe it's a mom and a kid, but I don't know. I'll have to do some research on this piece. And there's a lot of paint left on it and there's no major cracks or chips or anything. So this is probably well over 120 years old. Because I, I'd put that at probably like the late 1800s, maybe the early 1900s at the latest, like 1910s at the youngest, but really cool. And then got a little metal plant stand. Got a couple of tins. Wouldn't that plant stand be a, be a trivet though? It could be a trivet, yeah. I just assumed it was a plant stand just because it's just so heavy. Okay. Um, and it's, it's kind of crude. It's a little bit more crudely made. Like you can see the screws sticking up out the top. Oh. Um, but they're all older screws. They're all, um, they're all flathead screws. So, I mean that lends it to being older, but um, it's cast iron. yeah, it's cast. I don't know if it's iron or just hot metal. No, it's cast iron. Okay. I'll have to look this up in my books, cause right there, so. Oh, it's got the casting number on it? Yeah, it's got a casting number. <clears throat> a bunch of the companies did make these. Okay. Like you're thinking maybe like the feet or kind of like a secondary thing? No, no, oh. it's. It's made what it was. Over oh, here's a name. Oh, there's a name on it? P L and B company. P L and B? Yeah. Huh. 892. Hmm. That's I'll, cool. I'll look it up right now. Awesome. But I showed the tins, didn't I? Got little strawberries and little checkered pattern. I thought those were cute. Check the game. I go with that. Uh, Picnic set we got upstairs. Yeah, right? And then I was doing really well with the little ones. So when I saw a big one, I had to get it. This is a, a hex sign. And these were done a lot in, um, they were originally Pennsylvania folk art. So a lot you see a lot of this in um, Amish country down in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I've sold... I think two, yeah, two little ones out of my antique booth. And people seem to really like them. And last but not least, this is the exciting thing. <laughs> this is a color wheel to an aluminum tree. It's not in perfect shape, but it's complete and it works. So um, here, I'll take, take it out of the box. So you can aim it, it's glittery cause it's festive. And that's the top where it turns, where it attaches to the plastic part. And 
that's really exciting. I, it made me search very hard in that bar, not for an aluminum tree, but he didn't have one. <laughs> but he had the color wheel, which is very exciting. Because you set these underneath the aluminum Christmas tree and it makes the whole thing like go through all the different colors because uh, you have all the little aluminum branches um, like a disco ball just bouncing all the colors off them. But people who love aluminum trees usually like their color wheels. So all right so that's it for the barn the barn sale. I spent 60 bucks there so which was I'm really happy about because that color wheel <coughs> that color wheel will cover the cover the cost of everything, which is really nice. <laughs> and so I expect to do really well off of this. But next up, you might have to wait for my next video for it because I think I'm gonna tack this onto the shopping clips that I had from earlier. And uh, next time I have a huge haul. <laughs> I got this huge container full of cat figurines and cat like vintage decor. And there is supposedly some Miss Pris in the bottom and I'm really excited about that. So you'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to wait for that. So thank you for coming along in my adventures. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.